Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan, and today we're on another mission, really, because we've got a new signee to our mentorship program, um, Sunil. You might have seen him on his um, presentation, finishing his um, mentorship program. Now he's doing some training with me on site because part of the program and becoming a franchisee, he's doing training with myself. So we're out on site and we've seen this boiler. So what this one we've got is, it's a Glad Hill um, Pulse of Coil A-Class. And what's happening is the boiler's overheating. So we've arrived on site and we're gonna show you what we found. So Sonil, what do you think about the diagnostic, what we did, did and how quick we pinpointed the problem? Like, how long did it take me to diagnose a problem? Uh, less than one minute. Less than one minute, yes. And this is what we do. This is what I do. So I'm showing guys, if you get on this program like Sunil, like Wazim and other guys, and we've got a new guy who signed up as well, you can diagnose this quick. Also in this particular problem, what we're um, going to talk about, there was another problem which, this was really disturbing. And what happened, it's been rectified now, but this boiler was blowing fuses. If you pass me a screwdriver, I'll just point out what happened. So this is what happened. Somebody fitted a thermostat here. I'm not pointing to it because it's got live power at the moment. So they fit an, a rod thermostat here. And what they did, the live and neutral, which you can see, connect to the immersion heater they connected them two wires straight into a normal thermostat so when the thermostat made it short circuit and just banged and they left it like that and this was supposed to be some qualified heat engineer working out in the field working on this type of appliance and went and wired it like that if you look at my Instagram you'll see a picture of that thermostat wiring if you don't believe in it and that's how they left it and they've got to made another problem which we've gone and diagnosed so we're going to show you what's happening as I said this body's overheating so for tunnel I want you to get your multimeter and show people what's going on we're going to connect if you connect your neutral I'll hold your multimeter for you. So go on your neutral block. Now what we've got, we've got power coming on one, which you can see there. That's a feed coming in, which is normal. Now the boost is off, so there should be no power onto this bottom immersion heater. Now let's go to the immersion heater and let's show them on the immersion heater. Go across there. So you've got power there when there should be no power on because this is off. So what's happening, you can release now, you can release. So what's happening, that's staying constantly on until the whole thing starts boiling. And the customer was terrified when she heard it, bubbling all steam coming out the top of it. So it's got power permanently on. And the reason is because this relay here is stuck on. So what we do now, we'll go to the other relay next door, at the bottom there. So you've got power coming out of the relay, which that relay should be off. So that relay basically is stuck on. So we're going to change the relay. No, leave it. It's okay now. We're going to change the relay, and then you'll, we'll test it again, and you'll see it's working properly. So that's not going to be it we're going to change the relay over and then you'll see what we've done now what we're going to do we're just going to make sure the power's off we turn the power off so here is your feed coming in so these two wires here live and neutral there go across them two and you're going to do your polarity check yeah these two there yeah yeah Let's just check so power's off and then go on live and earth. 
earth is next to it. Okay, that's off, and then live, sorry, neut neutral and earth. Okay, so we know the power's off, so it's safe to work on. So you always do that, we work safe. So we're just preparing our new one. I buy them in pairs like this, but we're just going to use a single one today. Okay, so now so tell people what it's like for you doing hands on after doing your classroom training. Yeah, it's a reality, uh, from reality classroom to reality situation. That's it. Exactly. So, um, are you feeling you're doing quite well with your diagnostics? It's sinking in now. You've done your training. Yes, yes. The first time I came in here, I, I know that I learned in the reality classroom this uh, Persa coil. Um, for a for a moment, I was uh, like you know frozen. <laughs> What the hell it is? Mm. Then uh, I step back and uh, uh, look look back again and uh, uh, I figured it out. Um, the uh, and uh, now I know that what's happening. What what is happening? It's a cylinder which is uh, primary water inside and the primary water is heating this plate heat exchanger and makes hot water. Mm, mm. And a simple, uh, it's a simply a um, hot water cylinder. This one, this. Well, it's a thermal store. Thermal store, yes. Mm. So, with your sort of training in the classroom, and like you said, at, when you've seen the real one, it sort of phased you, but then it, you quickly got your thoughts yes, together. Yes, I can. I my relay is working now in <laughs> in my brain. Right. Okay. Good. We're just connecting the new relay up now. We're now done. Put our new relay on. We're going to turn the power on and just test it, see what's happening. New relay. Yeah, so that's your new relay. Okay, so I'll turn the power back on. So what was getting as said was getting constant power at the immersion heater. So we're going to test it now and see how we're doing. So pull across there. So that's correct, no power. Because as I said that was permanently on all the time and boiling this heater. So we're going to turn, one minute, we're going to press a boost now. So press a boost. Now we've got power. So now it's working correctly. So that's it. So you've done it again. So uh, everything's come together for you. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Good. It's a good learning experience. As I told you before that, you know, what we learned at uh, the classroom, uh, which I'm uh, doing on site now. So I'm happy. Good. All right. So that's going to be the end of this video so as I said if you want to find out more you can check out the website and also you can continue our journey with our trainees you got Wazim and now you got Sunil and there's gonna be some more following this step so stay tuned and I'll see you on the next episode <laughs>